Hey guys, welcome back to another Lipstick Swatch video. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Today's video is gonna be about Stila. So I got the Stila Naked Truth Lip Duo. So this is a duo of liquid lipstick as well as a lip gloss. It features two full-size shades of their top selling lip formulas. So the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and Akai or Baki, I don't know which one is which or how to pronounce it. So this one is a full coverage creamy matte color that wears comfortably for up to 12 hours. And the lip gloss is a Beauty Boss Lip Gloss in Synergy, which is an ultra shiny clumping cushioned comfort lip gloss <laughs> so i am not new to stila i actually love stila's liquid lipsticks one of my favorite liquid lipsticks from stila i'm trying to look around for it it's their red lipstick and i think beso there's beso and then there's one other red lipstick from stila that i love so much but I will link the video in the description below if you want to check out my Stila lipstick swatches. But first, actually let me show you what the package looks like. And of course these are full size lipsticks which I am super excited about. And this was only $25 as well. And voila! Look how gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is swatch them individually first. I'll do the lip gloss and then I'll do the liquid lip. And then we will create the lip duo using both of them. So let's start off with the lip gloss, the Beauty Boss Lip Gloss in Synergy. Don't you love a new lipstick? Look at this. All right, so this is the lip gloss. So this one is described as a pinky rose with some shimmer in there. I definitely see shimmer, but the shimmers are pretty much subtle. These smell different. It's not a bad smell, but it reminds me of Benadryl for some reason. We have Synergy. I wish the doe foot applicator was a little bit wider, but nonetheless, it's doing a great job. So like I always say, the thing with lip glosses, it depends on how pigmented your lips are. The chances of the color of your lip gloss showing up and showing out depends on how highly pigmented your lips are. There are times when the colors of lip glosses don't even show up on my lips because the pigment of my lips is overpowering the shade of the lip gloss. I love the rosy pink color that I get from this and the shimmers are not overpowering. I can't actually feel them as well. It's so annoying when you can feel the shimmers in your lip gloss or lipstick. It's one of the worst things ever. I love that these are subtle. I can't feel it. The formula is super smooth and creamy. I like that it doesn't feel heavy on my lips. I talk about this all the time when lip glosses feel heavy on my lips. I know it's going to be super sticky and goopy on my lips and I am not getting that feeling from this lip gloss. I like that it's subtle enough and I like that you can also use it over another lipstick because it's, it's subtle enough. You can wear it by itself or you can combine it with a lipstick so let's just go ahead and do the hair test obviously your hair will stick to the lip gloss because all lip glosses are sticky to some degree I will sing this over and over again so your lip gloss it doesn't matter how much the lip gloss is 
it can be $99, a million dollars, your hair is still gonna stick to your lip gloss. How I rate stickiness is how it actually feels on my lips. Some lip glosses are so heavy and so sticky, you can actually feel it. Whereas this feels pretty lightweight, it feels creamy and lightweight, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna get goopy and collect everywhere on my lips. When someone says that, oh, it's completely non-sticky for a lip gloss, like really? You do realize that your lips are wet, okay? So your hair will stick to your lip gloss. Yeah, if they say it's a completely non-sticky lip gloss, that is BS to the nth degree. So obviously I showed you it's gonna stick to your hair. But overall, it's a great lip gloss. I mean, you can probably find the same shade for a more affordable price. But then again, I got both of these for $25 and I think that's a steal. But for, you know, a lip gloss like this, I don't think it's necessary to spend, I don't know how much Stila's full size glosses go for, but I bet they're around $18 and up. There's nothing special about the lip gloss shade. It's a shade that you can more than likely find um, with a more affordable brand. It's not that serious. It's not a unique shade. It's a pretty popular shade that you can pretty much find anywhere. So do you really have to spend all your coins on a high-end lip gloss? Absolutely not. It's a shade that's pretty common that you can find. But if you got some extra coins laying around or you want to treat yourself, then I would say go for it because I do love Stila. Their products are amazing. If you like this gloss, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Okay, so now for the liquid lipstick. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bakai or Baki. I don't know what the pronunciation is. I'm probably butchering the name right now. But this shade definitely looks nude. <laughs> this one has a more perfumey scent. This smells pretty similar to the Stila liquid lipsticks that I have. So there's nothing new there. It's a pleasant smell. Um, we all know how some nude lipsticks can be. So. I definitely missed how comfortable these formulas are from Stila and how easy they glide on the lips. I like the formula, but I am not so sure about this shade. This is not my nude, obviously. I would have to put in the work to make this work for me, meaning a darker lip liner, play around with some lip liner shades to give this a little bit more depth and dimension because straight off the bat obviously this is not complimenting me in any way shape or form but honestly i've had worse swatches than this this is still doing pretty decent compared to some of the horrific nude lipstick swatches that i that i've had in the past so this is not the worst guys i've yeah trust me when it comes to nude lipsticks i have definitely swatched the the casket ready nude lipsticks so this one isn't that bad and this is one of stila's most popular shade for who though well you know what we can't always win but I'm not gonna argue with that. If that's their top selling shade, then that's good for them. I personally like the lip gloss a lot better. And speaking of the lip gloss, we need to put that on top of the lipstick because after all, this is a combo set of their popular lipstick and lip gloss shades. So what I'm trying to say is that these are supposed to work together and complement each other. 
All right, so here we have the liquid lipstick and here we have the lip gloss. And now we're gonna put the combo together so we can see what it looks like. Now that I put the gloss on, it reminds me of the Dose of Colors truffle set that comes with the lip liner, the Velvet Mousse lipstick, and the lip gloss. I do have that video up if you want to look at it. I'll also leave it down in the description for you. But I am getting that vibe from this combo. I think it does look better with the lip gloss i wouldn't wear the lipstick by itself but i would definitely obviously wear the lip gloss by itself it's just the lip gloss but as a combo i prefer it as a combo But that's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are aware of all my future uploads. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye!